When charging an R744 transcritical CO2 system, special care and attention to pressure levels must be used. This system must be charged slowly and carefully to prevent pressure relief valves from discharging. Prior to charging the system or starting compressors, be sure that power has been turned on in all subsystems. The system should not be topped up by charging into the suction. Systems with an intermediate pressure that is higher than the cylinder pressure should be pumped down or the intermediate pressure reduced to enable refrigerant to be charged. The high stage compressors must be available to operate before the low stage compressors can be started. When it comes to oil charging, you must administer an oil charge to the reservoir and compressor. Oil charge to the reservoir needs to be done between the second and third evacuation. When charging the oil to the compressor, keep in mind that the oil level requirement may vary by compressor manufacturers. To make charging easier and safer, we advise to install a permanent charging point in an area that is easily accessible. This will keep you from having to move any heavy R744 cylinders to different areas in order to charge the system. Remember, it is also unlikely that all of the refrigerant will be able to be charged without running the system. Initial charging can be administered smoothly if you are aware of the high pressure levels, have the right equipment, and properly charge the oil and vapor.